Hey, Lord of the Rings trading card game fans. Uh, I wanted to make a little video here. I'm gonna be doing a PSA submission to have some cards graded. Um, so I wanted to kind of show the cards uh, that I'm gonna submit. And then the turnaround time is about 65 days according to PSA's website. So I will be doing a returns video once I get these cards back and we'll see how it goes. Um, but I kind of want to just run through the cards, uh, show a little bit of condition if I can, and talk about um, kind of my thoughts here. This is my first time ever doing a PSA submission as well, so I'm kind of excited to see how it goes, um, what kind of grades I can get, and then think about what I want to do in the future. Um, but we'll start off here with uh, the Balrog Masterworks from the Black Rider set. I recently pulled this out of a Black Rider box myself, um, so it is in perfect condition. I don't see any um, flaws on it at all, and so I do think that this will get a 10. I think it's got a strong possibility of getting a PSA 10. I know somebody on the TCG uh, Facebook group recently got one of these back in a 10, um, and I had just pulled one, so I thought it would be pretty cool to see if we can get another one. Uh, next, we have a foil King of the Dead from set eight, Siege of Gondor. Um, really love the foil on all of the kind of undead um, uh, companions, um, the army of the dead that follows Aragorn. So I love the foiling. I think it's a really cool card. And this one uh, is in really great condition. It's got pretty darn nice centering. Um, and... Uh, Maybe a tiny bit of white in that bottom corner, but a really nice card. I definitely think this is a strong candidate for a PSA 10, um, but if not, then definitely a nine. Try to speed this up a little bit. Some of these cards are a little bit random. Like I don't have any particular reason why I picked this Theoden from Return of the King. Um, just it's in nice condition and I'm kind of throwing some random stuff in here. It's not necessarily because I love this card or anything, so. Got a Mumak Commander from set seven. I think this is a pretty awesome card. I definitely love the foiling on the, the Easterlings, the Sauron, the Corsair cards. Um, you know, I don't have all of these uh, sets complete as far as foils go too. So, I mean, if I had every Return of the King foil, I might pick some different cards, but these are some of the big rares that I had. And I figure for 15 bucks a card, I should probably submit rares uh, to hold the value and stuff. Um, Witch King, this is the premium card from set six, and of Fangorn. All these are foil, by the way. Really nice condition. Legolas, definitely my favorite. There's gonna be a couple Legolas cards in here. Um, Fearless Marksman. Um, centering is a tad off. Um, it's a little thicker on this side and the top, but I think it's within that 60-40 uh, margin that PSA requires. Got an Aragorn. Um, just artistically, I really like this Aragorn um, from the art, and it's one I had that's in really good condition. I do have an Aragorn Ranger of the North foil, but I don't think it's in good enough condition to uh, try to get it graded. I'm really not grading any of these uh, without you know the outside chance of getting a 10. I think I will get some 10s back and probably some 9s. Grima. Um, this is a kind of another random one, but this I pulled myself. It's pack fresh and I know it's pack fresh. So that's kind of why I'm throwing it in here um, just to hopefully get a 10. I'm really doing this for my own collection. I know that there's, you know, maybe a little bit of controversy in the Lord of the Rings community about, you know, whether we want to get into the, the graded cards. Um, you know, I know grading is pretty big for Star Wars and stuff. And I'm not really trying to get into the middle of that. This is really for me, for my personal collection. Um, I like grading because, you know, you know the condition that it's in um, and it protects your cards long term. And honestly, I want these cards to stay alive and stay in mint condition um, and, you know, last sort of forever, hopefully, um, to be able to pass them on, you know, to, to my kids or to someone who will value them. So I kind of see it as an investment just in protecting the card. I'm not doing this 
to try to make money, to try to resell them um, or anything like that, just in case anyone's curious. Um, but I'm not really gonna apologize for grading them either. Um, it's not really, I mean, I don't really care what people's opinions are too much about that. So Legolas Dauntless Hunter, another Legolas here. Really like this card. This one, I think might get a nine just based off the centering. It's definitely a lot thinner on this side. I got one of those uh, measurement cards. You can order them on Amazon or eBay. They kind of, um, you can lay it over a card and see the centering. Um, and I couldn't quite tell, but I think this one might be a bit more um, like 70-30, which means even if everything else was perfect, it would only get a nine from PSA. So I'll be curious what this comes back at, but I'm kind of expecting this will probably get a nine. Final count, uh, kind of another random one, but I pulled this out of a pack myself. So again, um, a lot of these were pack fresh and that's kind of why I chose them as the best chance of getting a 10. I definitely didn't want to submit uh, to PSA and get like all nines because I feel like I'd be pretty discouraged by that. Um, I know tens are tough to get, but I wanted to give myself a fair chance with, with most of these. So I got the Witch King from Mines of Moria. There's a little uh, nick up in this top corner here. Kind of show that, a little bit of whitening. And uh, there's some nicks down here. So I think this is probably a nine. Uh, maybe even an eight. Um, these cases are pretty scratched up. I've had these in storage for a while, um, but the cards underneath are in very good condition. But we'll see what that comes back as. Um, Cave Troll, I just recently bought this from John on the Facebook group. Um, he pulled this on one of his live streams. So, um, it's pack fresh mint condition. Don't see any issues at all. Really happy. Um, I needed this one for my collection anyway. So given that it's a mint copy, going to get that graded. I think this is a very strong 10 candidate as well. And that would be really awesome. It's a great picture. Um, great card. Saga of Elendil. So I pulled this one pack fresh out of a booster box I opened a couple years ago as well. So again, kind of random, but it's a pack fresh, you know, foil rare. So I wanted to see if it could come back as a 10. Athalas. So this is an uncommon and people are probably going to call me crazy for paying, you know, 15 bucks to grade an uncommon card. Um, but I mean, if you buy this right now, it's probably going to cost you, you know, 30, 40 bucks, um, something like that, uh, from certain sellers. So, uh, just being foil and I think it's it's a really nice uh, card very you know kind of cool scene from the movie um, I really like it so I just said what the heck I'm gonna throw an uncommon in here and get it graded um, this one also is a little thicker on this side um, I think it might be you know 60 40 70 30 so this might get a nine again just based on centering um, but I think it'll be a good lesson as well for me to look at some of these cards and see what grades they come back as. And that will help me to kind of learn and maybe be a little bit more picky on what I submit in the future. Next we have an Aragorn's Bow. So again, another card that I pulled myself out of a booster box. Um, and uh, Really cool, love all the equipment and possessions from Fellowship. Um, definitely an iconic set being the first one. Um, tiny bit off center, but I think this one's definitely within that 60-40 range. So I think this is another strong 10 candidate. Um, you know, maybe some tiny bit of edge wear right there. And, and PSA does allow for some, you know, very, very minor imperfections. Uh, they will still give it a 10. Um, it just can't be, you know, kind of glaring and obvious. Um, so, you know, a tiny bit of, of, uh, whitening on the corner there, um, might pass through. I don't know. And again, I know it looks like there's tons of scratches on here, but it's just on the ultra pro case. Um, double shot. So obviously super iconic card. Great, uh, for any archery deck. Um, again, a little bit off center. It's a little thicker on the right hand side here. So we'll see if that uh, passes muster. 
Um, I do think this one is uh, right on that 60-40 um, border again, so I think it still could get a 10. Um, you know, maybe a little bit of edge wear on the corner there, corner there. Um, yeah, kind of all four corners have a tiny bit of edge wear. Um, you know, I didn't pull this, I bought it um, from a seller, so I don't know how it was handled. So I think this will probably get a nine based on those corners, um, but still an awesome card. Um, I don't know if there's any any of these graded. Quite a few of the cards um, have no population in PSA, so no one's ever graded them before. Got a Gimli Son of Glowin. Um, again, little thicker centering here, um, about equal with the double shot. Um, I recently picked this up from a seller, I think over in Europe. Um, but it is very, very clean. Corners are very, very clean. Um, so I think this, again, has a chance for a PSA 10, which would be pretty awesome. Um, got a one ring foil, Isildur's Bane. I pulled this myself out of a booster box. Um, super, super excited to pull this, add it to the collection. Um, unfortunately, even though this is a pack fresh it does have a classic corner nick on this bottom corner here again that is from the factory so you know I don't know if that's something PSA will you know kind of uh, pass through um, otherwise the card is absolutely perfect so um, we'll see what happens you know I would definitely expect it with that nick to get a 9 but uh, if it got a 10 you know that would be pretty awesome even if it's not Totally accurate, I guess. And then again, you know, probably kind of stupid uh, to pay 15 bucks to get these graded, but I have these uh, three DVD promos fresh from a pack. Um, they're all mint. So, you know, I figured uh, maybe some easy PSA 10s here. I know these have been graded before, but I decided to kind of throw these in here as well. Um, so 22 cards total and I will be submitting these to PSA. I'm gonna ship them out today. And like I said, it should be about a 65 day turnaround. Um, and I'll do another video follow up with kind of a grade reveal. Should be a lot of fun. I enjoy watching those online. So since I'm interested in grading uh, myself, I figured I would start doing that for my YouTube channel. Um, let me know what you guys think about all of this uh, and wish me luck.